In the restless seas of life's uncertainties, how often do we find ourselves overwhelmed by waves of doubt and fear? Today, we're diving into a remarkable biblical event that resonates deeply with our own struggle to maintain faith amidst the tempests we face. The story of Peter walking on water is not just a tale from long ago. It's a vivid metaphor for the trials we encounter every day, and it offers profound insights into the nature of trust and belief when all around us seems uncertain. Did you know that even the closest followers of Christ experienced moments of profound doubt? One such moment teaches us an invaluable lesson about the nature of faith. Picture Peter, an apostle known for his impulsive character and passionate heart, as he takes that audacious step out of the boat onto the raging waters. A step that symbolizes so much more than physical action. It's a leap of faith we are all called to make. And yet, like Peter, we too can be swept up by fear, allowing the storms around us to eclipse our confidence in the divine. Join us as we explore this pivotal incident and uncover the enduring truths about walking through life's most challenging storms with a steadfast spirit. As we delve into the context of Peter's daring steps upon the tempestuous waters, let us consider our own lives, strewn with personal tempests that beckon us to take leaps of faith. Imagine yourself facing a significant decision, one that could alter the course of your life. It might be the decision to embark on a new career path, to grapple with a serious illness, or perhaps to navigate the deep waters of personal loss. Just like Peter, who saw Jesus walking on the water and called out to him, we too seek assurance that our steps are guided, especially when venturing into the unknown. When we first face these storms, there's an initial surge of courage, a moment where, like Peter, we are filled with a profound trust in God's plan for us. Our feet are poised at the boat's edge, our hearts set on walking towards what we believe is our calling. But it's not just about taking that initial step. It's also about sustaining that stride, maintaining that concentration and conviction amidst distractions and dangers. Peter's confidence as he stepped onto the water reflects our own moments of inspired faith. Those times when we rise above our apprehensions and decide to confront our challenges head on. Whether that means stepping up in our community, making a change for the betterment of our environment, or even embarking on a journey of self-improvement. With eyes fixed on Jesus, the embodiment of our highest ideals and aspirations, we find the strength to place one foot in front of the other, to walk by faith and not by sight. In these two minutes, we've considered the courage it takes to initiate the walk on water, the storms of our own lives that test our faith, and the inspiration we draw from the story of Peter. As we move forward, remember this. Every grand tale of faith begins with a single, tentative step onto the uncertain waters. Each of us faces moments when we must decide whether to remain in the safety of the boat or to step out in faith, trusting that we are called to something greater than ourselves. The question is, will we stay in the boat, or will we, like Peter, dare to walk on water? As we behold Peter amidst the chaotic winds, his attention shifts from the figure of Christ to the rage of the storm. This shift signifies a profound moment where faith is confronted by the tangible threats of the world. It is all too human, this tendency to let the palpable dangers we face overshadow the divine assurance we've been given. And just like Peter, we often find ourselves beginning to sink as doubt creeps in and overtakes our conviction. Consider the whirlwind of disruptions in our own lives, a sudden job loss, an unexpected diagnosis, or the turmoil within relationships. In these moments, the whispering winds of fear can grow into a howling tempest, causing our eyes to wander from the path of faith. How easily the focus on our Savior can blur, leaving us to flounder amid the rising waves of uncertainty. Yet it's precisely here, at the intersection of faith and fear, that the most profound lessons emerge. We bring to you the story of Elizabeth, a mother of three who faced her own gale when her spouse was deployed overseas unexpectedly. The solitude and responsibility weighed heavily upon her, threatening to engulf her hope. But Elizabeth recalls how, through prayer and community support, she refocused her gaze towards God's promises, finding the strength to carry on with resilience. Let her experience remind us, when the gales of life threaten to knock us off our feet, it is the unwavering focus on God's presence 
that steadies our souls. By sharing stories like Elizabeth's, we find solace, knowing that though the winds may rage, they cannot drown the spirit anchored in faith. In these two minutes, we have explored not merely the onset of doubt, but also the triumph in turning back to faith. Just as Peter cried out to Jesus in his fear, we too can vocalize our need for divine strength. And remember, when we feel ourselves starting to sink, it is never too late to seek the hand that is always extended, always ready to lift us back to where we belong, walking on water amid the storms with our eyes firmly fixed on him. As Jesus reached out his hand to Peter, he calmed not only the waves around him, but also the storm within his heart. The master's touch is a powerful symbol of the divine support available to us in every tremble and sway of our own lives. Reflect upon your experiences. When have you felt that sustaining hand during your times of doubt? As you ponder this question, consider sharing your journey in our community comments. Your stories of finding steadfastness amidst your trials can offer strength to others navigating similar tempests. Through these shared experiences, we weave a tapestry of testimony, each strand a reminder of the unwavering presence of God in the midst of our storms. Let this be an invitation to introspection and solidarity, for it is in the exchange of our vulnerabilities that we often discover the depth of our collective faith. So take a moment, gather your thoughts, and let us know how has your faith provided a beacon in the dark, guiding you back to the surface when the waters of life sought to pull you under. Your insights are valuable, and in them we find the echoing affirmation that none of us battles the gale alone. In embracing our spiritual kinship, we uphold one another, forming an unseen but unbreakable network of hope and encouragement. The hand that Jesus extended to Peter is emblematic of the support we're called to extend to each other, lifting, holding, and guiding through the swirling uncertainties of contemporary life. As we delve deeper into the journey of walking upon the tumultuous seas of life, let us turn our gaze once more to Peter and his venture upon the waves. Like him, you too may have stepped out in faith, only to find the roar of the wind and the sight of surging tides inducing fear, threatening to diminish your steadfast courage. At that crucial juncture, where the struggle between perseverance and panic ensues, lies a profound lesson in trust and surrender. Imagine now, for a moment, the scene. The endless expanse of water, the boat swiftly diminishing behind you, and the figure of Jesus ahead, beckoning. There is a choice to be made, to succumb to the enveloping fear or to focus intently on Christ's outstretched hand. This pivotal decision is mirrored in our daily lives as we encounter various storms. Will we fix our eyes on the chaos or will we concentrate on the unwavering promise of God? Let this vivid picture serve as a map for navigating our own wrestles with doubt. A simple chart emerges in our minds, one side emblazoned with faith, the other with fear. On one end, action calls to us to move forward. On the other, inaction urges us to retreat. In every challenge, big or small, these forces vie for our attention. Yet, it is faith that powers our steps, that propels us through the choppy waters and guides us back to a place of peace. Remember, when the foundations of your world shake and the squall seeks to sweep you off course, the strength of your spirit is measured not by the absence of doubt, but by the presence of faith. The narrative of Peter on the water does not condemn the inception of fear, but rather celebrates the triumph of faith, a faith that summons us to reach out even when the depths below beckon us to falter. Thus, as we contemplate Peter's ordeal and our own parallel challenges, let us resolve to anchor ourselves in trust, ever mindful of the Savior's proximity and his readiness to lift us from the engulfing waves. By embracing this trust, we do not simply weather the storm, we transcend it, stepping out onto the water in full confidence of our deliverance. As we conclude our journey through the stormy waters with Peter by our side, let us hold fast to the lessons etched into our hearts today. The strength of our faith, like Peter's, is tested and made manifest, not in the quiet harbors, but upon the high seas where fear and faith collide. We've learned that the courage to step out is the beginning. Keeping our gaze steadfast on God's presence is the sustenance, and His hand is our salvation when doubt seeks to drag us under. Where are you fixing your gaze in your storm? Is it upon the howling wind and towering waves, or upon the one who commands them to be still? 
And now as we draw this chapter to a close, let us not end our conversation here. Dive into the waters of dialogue and fellowship by sharing your thoughts and reflections below. How have you weathered life's tempests with faith as your compass? Subscribe to continue receiving guidance and encouragement. And consider joining our upcoming live discussions or community groups where we can explore these themes more intimately. Remember, our shared voyage through life's uncertainties is more heartening when navigated together. Together with eyes fixed on the horizon of hope, Let's keep walking on water, anchored in faith. Until we gather again in divine light, may your steps be bold and your spirit buoyant. Join us as we venture forth, transforming the way we perceive, endure, and triumph over the storms we face.